Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with the next installment in the 3 and 30 alphabet challenge that was set forth by Tina at Shabby Dabby Duda. Um, today we are on letter G and G is for glassine. Um, and in my case, I'm going to be using um, glassine bags. I have, um, this one is a silverware bag from a diner in Florida that has not been dyed. Um, this one I purchased um, uh, somewhere on an Etsy store <laughs> and it has been coffee dyed. And then this one is actually more of an envelope. Um, I purchased these in a package at Tuesday morning and they came with um, these like brads and some twine to make it like a policy envelope type of deal. So um, basically um, I'm going to make one of my triple pocket ones and I'll show you how I do that um, and decorate it. This one we, I'm not sure yet what we might do with this one. Um, and then this one we'll put together and probably just decorate. I have a bunch of um, Tracy Fox digitals cut out here uh, from various kits of hers. And I thought, you know, we could use some of those um, to embellish with. Um, these are like text backgrounds and labels. Um, I just have, you know, I just have them in different... <laughs> many different um, places and in, you know, various little boxes that I happen to have. So that's that. And then I also have my um, ephemera um, folder thingy um, that has, you know, various um, bits and bobs and pieces in it that me, we might use to decorate with as well. So Set that a little bit out of the way. I have some distress ink here over on the side. Um, my timer, which I'm gonna try to keep, I'm gonna try really hard to keep it in frame. Um, trying to figure out where this glare is coming from. There we go. Um, yeah, so I will have to sew at some point um, and I can't take you with me to my sewing machine. So you'll just have to bear with me um, while I, um, while I sew. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started with letter G. All right, so let's do this one first because um, I know exactly how to do it. So basically what I do is I fold this up this way uh, so that you have an opening here and you'll have an opening here and then I need to trim off the top and I usually do it with my paper trimmer but in the interest of saving time I'll just do it with my scissors real quick. So then you have um, an opening at the top as well. Now what I thought, I, I am going to sew this but um, Tracy Fox has this tags and toppers kit and I was hoping that maybe one of the, the toppers might just fit um, on the top <laughs> of the bag and I could just kind of sew it on as I go. Um, I have no idea which one. I don't even know if they're the right size, so maybe we should check that first. Nope, not really. They're really not. That's a bummer. Okay, well that won't work. However, maybe we can cut down one of the tags and um, use that instead. These are so pretty. I love all of these so very much. Okay, um, I think I'm going to go with the very first one that I have picked up. Fold it in half first. All right, I'm gonna try to stay in frame this time. Oh my goodness, I am so, so bad at that and so out of practice. All right. I'm just basically trying to get it to a point where I can 
um, trim it down and then hopefully I didn't cut through the bag. Oh good. All right. And then I think I like this side best. So we'll just cut that. And then that can just be our little topper because if you notice here, there's like, um, you know, the bottom of the bag, the flappy part. I just like to cover that up. So I'm going to ink this piece. All right. Now I am going to add a little bit of glue, glue, wherever it is the glue is, um, just to kind of hold it in place while I'm sewing. Because I'm only going to sew this on the, the very edges of the sides, not the whole, um, not the whole piece. So I do need to kind of keep it Just kind of keep it there where I want it. And then there. So it'll be like that. All right, so I'm gonna run to my sewing machine. I'm not gonna run. I'm gonna actually roll my chair over that way. And um, I'm gonna just basically sew down here, across, and back up this way. All right, I'll be right back. Hey, sorry about that. Hopefully that wasn't um, ridiculously boring waiting for me to get that done. Um, but I really do like to sew them better, you know, as opposed to gluing them. You can, you can totally just glue them, um, you know, just glue up the sides here. And that is completely fine. Um, I just, I don't know. I trust the sewing more than I trust um the gluing, but I, I have done it that way and it works perfectly fine. All right. So since we have decorated with, um, Tracy's, um, tag here, maybe we can continue a little and use some more. Maybe not. I, I might change my mind. Um, like actually, I think this would be pretty right here. Let's uh, put that aside for a minute. So if we cut it off, like that, that kind of fits perfectly right there, doesn't it? All right, so. Let's ink that up. And 
Let's glue it down. I really need to get a new Fabri-Tac bottle out. I just keep forgetting. <laughs> and I'm trying to film um, a few videos here um, in anticipation of being away next week. And, um, you know, so I have something to upload for you guys while I'm gone. All right. I, I'm kind of regretting my decision to use the white glassine bag for this. I have some that are coffee dyed. Um, but you know how that is. I <laughs> decided to use the white one. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I'm kind of wishing I had gone with the coffee dyed, but that's okay because I think it, it will be fine. All right. So um, let's see. Let me move this out of the way. Tracy has these awesome labels and and whatnot in her shop. And I think it might be nice um, if I could quickly find one that I like with this. I think I, think I like that. All right, I gotta ink it up. I am gonna try really hard to not go over time today, guys. I think the sewing um, may may have wrecked that, but I'm hoping um, that I can make up, make up time here. Maybe? Cheesecloth. And I also have a tin of words. Some of these are Tracy's, and then some of them are other people's. Um, I know, I know those are Tracy's. Let's see what else we have here. Um, let's do, let's use garden. I wanted to get the first one done in 10 minutes and that didn't happen. That's always nerve wracking. Obviously, I'm not going to bother with um, making, you know, anything to go in these pockets right now because um, that's not part of the challenge as far as I'm concerned. And if I try to do that, I'm definitely not going to have enough time. So we will just leave this empty for now. But I really, really like that. Okay. Set that one aside. 
And let's go ahead and do this one. And um, so basically this just came in a kit with a bunch of the envelopes and then these brads. And the holes are already punched, um, which is fabulous. So um, just need to, now this one should be interesting. as difficult as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and then it comes with um, some string. Okay, it does, but I can't figure out where the end is. I don't think that's the end. Oh, gracious. All right, here we go. I'm just taking the whole thing off. And I want to... Um, ink it up a little bit because it's quite stark. So I just, to do that, um, I just kind of run it like that um, on my ink pad. And then maybe a couple times if I don't think it's dark enough. There we go. And then... Probably, well, no, it's fine. Just tie a little knot to hold it, you know, just to hold it in place here. Maybe. <laughs> I didn't leave myself very much space. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then you've got, you know, you've got your little whatchamajigger thingy here. <laughs> All right. We don't need to worry about that right now. Okay. So we need to decorate this and I'm going to assume that this is this is the front here, so um, what do we have? What do we have? These are from Tracy's, these are leftovers um, from her layered tags kit. Um, and I love this image, and you've also got some butterflies in here. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna Add some ink here. And I'm gonna go into my um, crazy ephemera folder here. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. And I'm looking for the butterfly section. There it is. Um, this is not. I've said it before, um, not the ideal situation for me anyway. I don't really, this doesn't really work for me uh, terribly well, but um, it is what it is, at least until I can come up with something better. Um, oh, yes, yeah, I just keep tearing the pages and such. So it's not, it's not great, but, um, it, you know, it does the job for now. Maybe a pink. No, that's a way too pink. Um, this is not the time for indecision, even though that's exactly what's going to happen. 
because that's what I do. Oh, this one, this one, this one. Okay. Let me stuff all that back in there. Okay. Um, yeah, put that over there. Okay. All right. I like this, so I am going to cut it down. Um... Butterfly. What time is it? Oh, okay. All right. We can do this. It's okay. This wouldn't be my choice of ink for this particular butterfly because it's kind of glossy and I'd rather be using archival, but it's um not right here on my desk right now, so whatever. <laughs> it, it is what it is. Okay, so... I think we can kind of tuck this and maybe I need to trim off the edge. Let's just trim it and then we don't have to worry about it. Sorry, I think I shook my whole desk. get really quiet when I'm concentrating. <laughs> I'm you, what you know you want to know what's going through my head right now actually. I'm not even concentrating on this particular project right now. I am uh thinking about what in the heck I'm going to do <laughs> with this other bag. Uh because I really have no idea and so I'm sort of <coughs> I'm sort of not sure at the moment. Do I want to leave, keep everything over here to the right? <clears throat> Do I want to add a quote? Here, maybe. What else do we have? Okay, that's pretty. So this one says, be who you are and say what you feel because um, those who mind don't matter and those who matter don't mind. I like that. Let's just go crazy here, right? Why not? <laughs> I'm going to multitask. Let's see how this goes. I am dreadfully running out of time. Butterfly, I think. Can go right there. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I like that a lot. Let's um, get it put together here. And then there. Very cute. Okay, done. That's two done. Now, what are we going to do with this? I had kind of originally thought I might make it into... Um, like a, you know, a little booklet cover, oh, but <laughs> I don't have any paper. I didn't bring any paper over here with me because I'm insane. Um, yeah, nothing. I have, I have zero. Oh, what do I have? What do I have? Okay. Maybe, maybe we can make this work with some masking paper. This is going to be a very odd um, little booklet, but right now I just want to make something, right? So I have brown masking paper. I have pink butcher paper here. And green. It's gonna be a very crinkly booklet. I'll tell you that much. What else do we have here? Oh, here we could use. We could use a piece of this um, glassine paper. Look at that, and it's actually glassine, so that works. All right. All right. There. Now we just need to. Trim it so it fits inside here. Let me, I'm just gonna, I am gonna eyeball this, and that is not something that I am very good at. So I feel like maybe I should be using the paper trimmer. Okay, take a deep breath. <laughs> need to even that up a little bit. And then I don't know which is faster. Okay, I'm gonna sew it right down the middle. <laughs> I don't know which is faster, but my sewing machine is still on, so that's what we're gonna do. have our little booklet. <laughs> it's kind of cute. <laughs> it's different. All right. And then um, we can decorate the outside real quick, I think. And see what we come up with here. Um, let's see. These are pretty small. Um, so I think we'll go back to this. Um, let's find something a 
little brighter maybe like that and then you can actually use one of the um, toppers here yeah it goes like that oh, i think i like the green one all right so Oh, two minutes. That's all I have is two minutes. There is not enough time. <laughs> oh, I really want to finish this on time. I do. I really do. Okay, 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 okay. That is some messy inking there, I tell ya. All right. Normally, I would probably, um, oh my gosh, come on, uh, sew this across the top, but there is no time for that, so glue it is. All right, and then glue this one. Oh, come on all the times to not have enough Fabri-Tac. Like, this is not a good time. Oh, can you see what I'm doing? 26 seconds! <laughs> Okay, all right, we need, we need, we need, we need. I don't know what we need. <laughs> I don't know what we need. All right, um, come on, come on, come on. If there were dreams to sell, what would you buy? That's, that is what we're putting on here. That is what is going on. Oh, two seconds, no! Dang, almost, guys. Almost. I was so close. Oh. All right. Well, I'm going to count it a win because that was, I mean, that was really, really close. <laughs> I feel like, um, yeah, I'm going to pat myself on the back for that one because <laughs> that was just like frantic. Um, and you've got a pocket, so you could tuck something in the pocket there. And it's pretty. I think it's very pretty. I like, why can't I stay in frame? Okay. Like, it's so cute. I like that a lot. And then we have our triple, triple little pocket here. If I can, yeah. And then our very cute little policy Envelope. Oh, I'm very happy with all of these. These turned out amazing. And I think it's because of Tracy Fox, because her, her digitals are just um, magnificent and you can't really mess them up. So, <laughs> all right, guys, that is it for the letter G. I cannot even believe that we are through letter G. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to film letter H now because I'm I need to uh, I need to get ahead of myself a bit because I'm going to be gone for a week and um, yeah. So I wanted to just let you know I'm I'm not going to shut down my shop or anything while I'm away. I'm just going to take everything with me. Um, I just have a couple bins of stuff that's listed, so that that's easy enough for me to do. I don't I don't know. I don't want to go into vacation mode because I feel like. Um, that's not, I don't know. I feel like it's not fair to my customers. So, um, feel free to check out Etsy, even though I'm not in town. Um, and I can still ship it out, um, as quickly as I would if I were home. And yeah, I'm going to say happy Thanksgiving because when you see this, it will just be a couple days before Thanksgiving. So to those of you in the U S who are celebrating Thanksgiving, 
happy Thanksgiving. Um, enjoy your dinner, lunch, brunch, whatever you do in your family. Um, if you watch football, have fun with that. Um, we are going to have a very non-traditional Thanksgiving this year um, because that's what we want to do. We're just going to sit around and have fun. And I'm sure the football game will be on because that's my son's favorite thing. All right, guys, you have a fantastic day and um, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.